I had 24 kids in my high school class, and none of them went to Yale. Something he does that is so weird to me, the constant attacks on J.D. Vance for going to Yale. I don't understand this. I've heard Walls pro- proclaim <clears throat> to be a small-town guy who wants everybody to get an education and succeed. And he spends a fair amount of time attacking J.D. Vance, who grew up poor, got an educa- worked hard to get an education and rise above his station in life. And he has used it as a punchline on the campaign trail. And I don't understand what he's trying to communicate to every small-town poor kid out there saying, if you choose to work hard and go to an Ivy League school, you somehow abandon your hometown. Well, I don't well, speak, get it. Speaking as one of those uh, small town kids who actually uh, yeah. went, to, went to Yale, yes. I, I do take exception to that. I think you are correct on that. So I don't know if those reports are true, but I would certainly welcome his endorsement. I mean, I, I grew up in a family. I was raised by my poor grandmother uh, who didn't have a high school diploma, but she- uh, Looks like we just lost Senator J.D. Vance there. In Minnesota, we trust a coach who turned a team that was 0 and 27 into state champions. Democrats welcome weird, but we're not weirdo. Because in Minnesota, we respect our neighbors and the personal choices they make. And even if we wouldn't make those same choices for ourselves, we've got a golden rule. Mind your own damn business. But I think we owe it to the American people to tell them exactly what she'd do as president. They'll start jacking up the costs on the middle class. They'll repeal the Affordable Care Act. They'll gut Social Security and Medicare. And they will ban abortion across this country with or without Congress. If you're a middle class family or a family trying to get into the middle class, Kamala Harris is going to cut your taxes. She's taken on the predators and fraudsters. She's taken down the transnational gangs. I met the vice president when she visited El Paso. I saw firsthand how she engaged with law enforcement, migrants, and human rights advocates. Because the guys don't require any qualifications. They they just step up and run. Am I right about that? (laughs) We got got a guy who's like, I'm a billionaire. I want to be president. I'm going to ruin the country. And he did. (laughs) So, so I just want to say, women should not have to have the greatest resume in the world to start getting into the game. He has, with his friends, said the quiet parts out loud, but not only said them out loud, he wrote a book about it. What's it called? Project 2025. That is false. Trump did not write Project 2025. The project's big policy document published by the Heritage Foundation think tank lists dozens of people as authors, editors, contributors. Donald Trump is not among them. 